The Musicians of Bremen Retold by Ben Cruz, illustrated by Anne Schweninger There once was a donkey who had carried sacks to the mill for many years. At last he grew too old to work and his master planned to get rid of him. When the donkey found this out, he decided to run away to Bremen. He thought he might become a street musician there. He had not traveled far when he saw a hound lying near the road and gasping for breath. "'Why are you panting so, friend?' asked the donkey. "'I've been running a long way,' replied the hound. "'I've grown too old to hunt, and my master wants me killed.' "'Why not come with me?' asked the donkey. "'I am going to try my luck as a musician in Bremen. "'You hounds have powerful voices, so perhaps you could do the same.' The dog liked the idea. He and the donkey walked on together. Not long after, they met a cat with a face as long as a lonesome road in winter. "'What is the matter?' asked the donkey. I'm getting old, said the cat, and I cannot catch mice any more. When I heard that my mistress was going to drown me, I ran away. Everyone knows how good you cats are at serenading, said the donkey. Come with us to Bremen. I am sure you can become a musician there. After traveling some distance, the three animals came to a farmyard. On the gate stood a rooster crowing with all his might. "'Why are you screaming so?' asked the donkey. "'The cook says there is company coming on Sunday, and she will put me in the soup,' replied the rooster. "'I plan to crow just as long as I can.' "'Well,' said the donkey, "'we are going to Bremen to become musicians.' Since you have such a fine, loud voice, why don't you come with us? The rooster agreed, and the four runaways went on together. They could not reach Bremen that day, so they decided to spend the night in the woods. The donkey and the dog lay down under a large tree. The cat nestled in the branches, and the rooster flew up to the very top. Before they fell asleep, the rooster saw a light in the distance. There must be a house over there, he said. Let us go and look, said the donkey. There may be food and shelter for us. The animals walked toward the light and soon drew near to a cozy little cottage. The donkey went to the window and looked in. What do you see? asked the rooster. I see a table laid out with plenty to eat and drink and a group of men sitting at it enjoying themselves, answered the donkey. <laughs> Robbers by the look of them, said the hound, peering inside. I wish we could have some of their fine supper, said the cat. If only we could get inside, said the rooster. The animals soon thought of a way to drive the robbers out of the house. The donkey put his forefeet on the window sill, and the hound stood on his back. The cat then climbed on the dog, and the rooster flew up and perched on the cat's head. Then they all began to perform their music. The donkey brayed, the hound barked, the cat meowed, and the rooster crowed with such force that the window rattled. The noise was so horrible that the robbers fled in terror. The animals rushed inside and ate their fill of the robbers' feast. When the four musicians had finished eating, each found a comfortable sleeping place for himself. The donkey lay down in the yard. The dog crouched behind the door. The cat curled up on the hearth, and the rooster perched on the roof. Soon they fell asleep. The robbers were watching the house from a distance. About midnight they saw that the light was out. There is nothing to fear now said one robber. I will go back and see if our gold is safe. The robber went into the cottage. In the darkness the cat's fiery eyes looked like burning coals, but when the robber tried to strike a light by them, the cat leaped up 
spat at him, and scratched him in the face. As the robber rushed for the door, the dog sprang up and bit him on the leg. In the yard, the robber ran into the donkey, who kicked him hard. All the while, the rooster cried, cock a doodle with all his might. The robber ran back to his companions as fast as his legs would carry him. There is a witch in that house, he told them. She flew at me and scratched my face. Then a man by the door stabbed me in the leg, and a monster in the yard struck me a terrible blow, and up on the roof sat the judge, who cried, Kill the scoundrel, do! The robbers ran away and never came back to the house again. The four musicians liked their new home and decided to stay, and there they remain, making music to their hearts' content. The End